Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. Today we are discussing eight historical monarchs whose reigns were so short they barely even counted. Queen Elizabeth II became the world's longest reigning monarch in 2016, and her multi-decade tenure stands in contrast to many rulers who weren't as lucky. Kings, queens, and even emperors come and go, but who was the shortest reigning monarch in history? Many short-lived kings and queens ruled for periods of time ranging from a few months to just a few minutes. King Louis XIX, 20 minutes. With the execution of Louis XVI in 1793, the French Revolution brought down France's centuries-old monarchy, but only for a little while. By 1814, some of Louis's relatives had re-established the monarchy. However, in 1830, France was in the throes of yet another revolution. The reigning King Charles X stepped aside in favor of his son Louis. King Louis's reign was the shortest in history, lasting only 20 minutes. Like his father before him, Louis also abdicated. Victoria Kamamalu, 2 hours. Though Queen Liliuokalani was officially the Kingdom of Hawaii's first and last queen, another woman briefly ruled. For a brief window of time, Victoria Kamamalu was the highest ranking person in Hawaii. Victoria Kamamalu served as the Kuhina Nui, or co regent, to her brother King Kamehameha IV. When he passed in 1863, her position as Kuhina Nui made her a de facto monarch, but only long enough to proclaim an official successor. She quickly appointed her other brother as king that same day. Tsar Michael II, 16 hours. On March 15, 1917, Nicholas II was forced to abdicate the imperial throne of Russia. Technically, he wasn't the last Romanov, Russia's ruling dynasty for more than three centuries, to hold power as he abdicated in favor of his younger brother, Grand Duke Michael Alexandrovich. Michael was clear that he did not really want to be in a position of power in the midst of the Russian Revolution. King Sigeric, Seven Days the Visigoths posed a threat to the Roman Empire in its final centuries. Sigeric assumed the Visigothic kingship after the previous king, Athalf, was assassinated. Wasting no time, Sigeric saw to it that his predecessor's family was similarly executed. The fate that he brought on Athalf's children befell Sigeric as well, and he was slain after ruling for only a week. King Henri V of France, Seven Days in 1830, revolution once again gripped France. The reigning monarch, King Charles X, and his heir, Louis, both abdicated within 20 minutes of one another. Their 10-year-old relative Charles's grandson and Louis's nephew thus became Henri V. But after only a week between August 2nd and 9th, his cousin Louis Philippe was instead proclaimed king. Henri fled into exile. Whether or not Henri V was a legitimate king of France remains an open question. Though he was more or less a pretender to the French throne, his supporters believed he was the one true Bourbon king. Queen Jane, Nine Days In 1553, Lady Jane Grey, a Protestant teenage noblewoman, was propped up as Queen of England in a bid to prevent the Catholic Princess Mary, Henry VIII's oldest surviving child, from taking the throne. Lady Jane was pushed into a royal role she didn't want, but she didn't have long to regret it. After what is the shortest reign in English history, she was queen for just nine days, Jane was imprisoned and eventually executed. Emperor Napoleon II, 16 days. After being exiled to the island of Elba for less than a year, Napoleon Bonaparte launched an aggressive military and political comeback. Though his plans were foiled at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, his dreams of launching an imperial dynasty briefly lived on. After his defeat, he abdicated in favor of his young son, Napoleon. The Allied coalition of victors rejected the younger Bonaparte's rule, but not before the boy unofficially held the title of Emperor Napoleon II between June 22 and July 7, 1815. The younger Napoleon passed at the age of 21 from illness. Eleanor of Navarre, 20 days. Eleanor was the youngest daughter of the Navarrese royal family. Through an unexpected series of events, she eventually became Navarre's queen. Her father John II skipped over her older siblings to proclaim that Eleanor would be his heir to the kingdom of Navarre. 
When he passed in 1479, Eleanor indeed became queen, but she had a short-lived reign. She passed only weeks later. Thanks for watching.